I learned a super cool Canva hack this week. And when I learn a new Canva hack, you learn a new Canva hack. So this week, I'm going to be showing you how to soften the edges of a photo using Canva. If you haven't already, make sure you like, subscribe, and ring that little notification bell so that you never miss a tutorial or upload. Okay, so let's jump into Canva. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is choose our photo. And if you're wondering how I have my photos, my uploads so organized here, you're gonna wanna check out that video I'm linking up above because I showed you how I learned how to organize all of my brand photos and stock photos and all of that sort of thing. So check that out when you're done with this video. But let's come in here and go into our photo shoot. And I'm gonna choose this super adorable picture of Bubba because of course. Now, there are other ways that you could kind of manipulate this image to get honed in on him, like removing the backgrounds and things like that, which um, I've also shown, so I will make sure to link to that video as well. But in a picture like this, where there are so many other elements, it's not going to look great to try to single him out. Here, I'll show you what I mean. It's going to be a little bit funky because it's going to try to include parts of me, see, and that just, that doesn't look good. So we're going to go ahead and undo that. And instead, I'm going to show you this super cool new effect that I learned. So we're going to come up here to our elements. We're going to choose the square that we're going to turn into a rectangle, okay? We're going to go ahead and take it here and we're going to make sure that it lines up with our image. You're going to get as close to that as possible, but we can kind of adjust it as need be at the end. We're going to click in here. Here's where the magic happens. We're going to click into the color. And instead of choosing a solid color here, we're going to scroll down here to our gradients. And we can choose any of these that we want. It really won't matter. So let's go ahead and choose this one. And then we're going to come back up here to our color wheel. We're going to click on add new color. And then you're going to see we're on gradient here. We have a couple of things that are going on. We have the different colors that are included in our gradient. We'll get to that. But we also have our style. Right now, this is side to side. We've got a couple other options. We're going to go here with the circular gradient. We're going to add a few more colors to our gradient. Doesn't matter what colors you add. We just want to have, I don't know, roughly five of them here. And we're going to come over here to our center. And we're going to make this completely transparent. And I think you're starting to probably catch the drift of what we're doing here. So now let's click on our second one and do the same thing. We're going to make that completely transparent and see how we're honing in on Bubba there. But now we obviously don't want yellow for the rest of it because that sticks out like a sore thumb. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to select all three of those other color dots and we're going to take them all the way up to pure white. And now you can see that we have honed in on Bubba. I could see a tiny line down here at the bottom, which means I just didn't stretch this quite far enough. So I'm just going to do that right now. And there you go. We've got this perfect little zoomed in featurette on Bubba with nice soft edges. Super cool, right? And not as complicated as it seems. Are you going to try it? Let me know in the comments. The online tools for your business do not need to be complicated and overwhelming. It's time to let it be easy.